Hey, welcome back to the Big Ranch Show. As always, thank you for joining me. If you could, hit that subscribe button down below and let's get right to it. Now, this is a story I'm bringing you that just makes my blood boil. It makes me want to go punch some people in the face with my car. Um, it has to do with a transgender 12-year-old in, in Oklahoma at a, in a town called Ashley, I think it's pronounced. Um, there's this child who has been living as a female for years. Um, as of a few years ago, when they were in a different school, they were using a uh, faculty bathroom because, of course, you know, people freaked out when the transgender student wanted to use a, you know, the bathroom that, that really fits who they are. And so the school, to protect her, the child, and, you know, cut out any of the BS, let, it, let, let the 12-year-old use the restroom in a faculty restroom. But when school started last week, apparently this child needed to go to the restroom and could not get to the faculty restroom or did not have access to it in the new building. So, what did the transgender um, student do? She walked herself to the female restroom, used the restroom, and then all hell broke loose. And I'm not talking from the students. You would think, oh, the students, that, that's the problem. Kids are cruel. No, no, no. This happened from the freaking parents. They're making violent threats to a 12-year-old. In a Facebook group, in the that that's uh, a private Facebook group in the town. Now, here in just a minute, I will read you a few of these tweets, or uh, not tweets, but messages that were posted in this group. Now, as you probably know from a previous video in, that I've put out in, um, entitled um, "Stop Transgender Hate," that I am a supporter of the LGBT community, period. I believe their rights are just as important as yours or mine. Case closed. And to see something like this, especially the threats being made against a child and the disgusting things that were being said about this child, I can tell you right now that it absolutely pisses me off. If this is the things being said by children, I'd be like, oh, well, maybe they're not taught right at home. Maybe they just don't understand. You know, maybe they just haven't learned yet. But no, these are adults. And I really don't know what else to say about it, so I'm going to move on to the tweets that I have lined up for you here. The messages, they're not really tweets, like I said. They're from a Facebook group. And let me read you some of these and see what you think. Now, we're going to start off, of course, with the standard Christian BS of parents and churches need to shut this down. The Bible says God created man and woman, not any transgender BS. Also says a man lay, um, lay with another man, be condemned to hell. Hell with, uh, hell with new laws and new rules. This is what the future is if we don't stop it. Well, let's discuss that for a second. First off, this country may, be ha may have founding in our laws in some Judeo-Christian heritage. But our, our people that founded this country have made it, made it very clear that we are not a Christian nation. That we are a nation of laws, not a nation of churches. They made that very clear. As well. At the same time, our Constitution isn't created by the church. In fact, it basically separates the church from the government. So your religious argument doesn't matter. It's not an argument. It's kind of void, if you ask me, because our Constitution doesn't talk about whether or not 
somebody is gay or transgender, it talks about people having our rights, equal rights. That was part of the. That's part of what we were trying to be in this country. You know, they said something about this. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. A more perfect union. But no, forget that. Let's move on past that. Okay, religious mumbo jumbo, whatever. Right? People are how they are. They're stupid. They follow blindly follow religions. And they let their religions choose whether or not they like or hate somebody. As disgusting as that is, it gets worse. And then another person here on Facebook, Gina um, Segraves, uh, Segraves or something, says, how old is this thing? Referring to the 12-year-old child as a thing. And then... Somebody responded with, uh, Jamie Crenshaw responds with, 12, he came to our school in 5th grade and is now in 7th grade. And then you get down to Ty Hayes who responds to um, Gina's comment saying, This thing, I love it, got a name, name for it now, perfect name. There again, referring to a 12 year old child as a thing simply because you don't agree with the fact that they see themselves as a different gender who are you that 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 is what i have to that's what i have to ask all these people who are you to sit there and attack a 12 year old child who in the hell are you All that matters is that this child's parents support her and that we have equality in this country. Period. That is what matters. Your stupidity and your religion matter not. Um, con continuing with this Ty Hayes guy uh, from the previous um, comment. This is terrible. Y'all have great kids and a little half-baked maggot is causing them problems. We feel for y'all. There again, attacking a 12-year-old. Referring to this 12-year-old child. Let me repeat that. 12-year-old child. You're referring to them as a maggot causing problems. Eddie Belcher. Eddie Belcher. This is one of the worst ones from the whole damn thing. If he wants to be a female, make him a female. A good sharp knob, uh, a good sharp knife, will do the job really quick. So basically, you're you're talking about assault. That continues later on, but you'll see. But right here, they're talking about physical assault with a deadly weapon. Literal assault with a deadly weapon. Against, again, a 12-year-old child. These are scum of the earth. That's what these people are. I'll tell you that right now. Scum of the earth. David Carpenter, why are parents letting their kids be transgender? That got a like. Oh, let me tell you this, too. The one over the knife and the, you know, the assault with a deadly weapon got two likes as the time that these pictures were taken. Kevin Bickerstaff, just tell the kids to kick ass in the bathroom and it won't come back. There again, suggesting assault and referring to the child as it. This is a child, not an it, not a maggot. This is a freaking child. I don't care if they're transgender, gay, straight. I, I don't care who they are. They are a child. If you want to do this, say things like this about a child, you should be arrested and you should be put in jail. You know, I'll, I'll give the the church the, the churchgoer you know a little bit of a break. You know, the one that was thumping his Bible in the first the first message that I I mentioned to you, 
Why? Freedom of speech. You're free to have that kind of view. You're free to view that uh, by your religion, somebody maybe shouldn't be that way, but you can't force your religion on other people. But this right here from Eddie Belcher is a threat. Same as this the, the message here from Kevin Bickerstaff. These are th physical threats against a 12-year-old child. The FBI is now investigating. Then here is another one, another assault suggestion or threat. Let Parker whip his ass until he quits coming to school. So suggesting one of the parents let their student beat the shit out of a child simply because they are transgender. Again, an adult making a threat against a 12-year-old child. I don't really want to continue, but I will. Because you need to know exactly what the hell has been going on and what the hell people act like in this country. They seem to think that this is okay. It's not. It's morally reprehensible. And they should be called out. There is the only, that is the only reason I am giving you these losers' names. In most instances, I would not. Most instances, I would leave these assholes' names out of it, but these people need to be made famous. These people need to go viral across the damn country. They need to, their bosses need to see what they're doing. Their friends, their family, their children need to see the threats they're making against children. And maybe you should take, maybe CPS should show up and check and see on the welfare of their children to make sure they're not abusing them if they think whipping their ass is a great idea. But let's continue. Shall we? Waylon Lott. I let the queer teacher get me worked up. This is even worse. First off, a teacher being gay is not a problem. What people do when they are at home is none of our business. I've never seen a teacher, I've, when I was a kid, I never saw teachers having sex in the classroom. Therefore, them being gay has no effect on the children. And last but not least, the follow-up from Seth Shelby Cooper, who was the one that made the comment about letting the child, the, the student, beat this kid up, responds with, LMAO, both cases are BS. Neither of them should be allowed near a school. That is just a few of these messages. Now, let me show you the message, or read you the message here, that got the whole thing started on this group. Called, actually, ISD Parents Group. Heads up, students of 5th through 7th grade girls. The transgender, there again, trying to basically demon, not really demonize, but dehumanize this 12-year-old child. Instead of calling the child by their given name or their their um, their their name um, as they see themselves as a female, which this child goes by Maddie, according to her mother, this person automatically goes right off the bat with trying to dehumanize the child by just referring to the child as transgender, the transgender. We have been told how the school has gone above and beyond to make sure he has his own restroom, yet he is still using the girls. Really? Looks like I'm going. To, it's going to be a long year. We have made we have made school board meetings over the situation last year, but nothing seems to be changing. This is the same kid that got in trouble as soon as he transferred here two years ago. Now, 
let me clue you into a little bit of information here that you may not know. Two years, as the person mentioned about them getting in trouble two years ago. Apparently, there was a point where they went. This this child went to the restroom. According to the mother, um, for the child to use the restroom, uh, the child has to lean forward apparently real far, I guess, to hide things. And the, some of the children thought they may that the child may be peeking on them. The mother and the child both say this is not the case. The the woman, the mother, explains why the child was doing what she was doing. But to make things safe, to make things better for everybody, to shut the whole thing down, you know, there isn't a problem, they let the child use the faculty restroom, as I mentioned before. Now, what I, what I was told was this child was not, or what, I, what local media has said is that this child was not doing anything necessarily wrong, that the child just did not have access to the faculty restroom when the new school year started. And when a child has to go to the restroom, they go to the restroom. Now, maybe you disagree with me. Maybe you think this is perfectly okay. You can also hit that little unsubscribe button too. I will never see this as okay. This is no less than, this is, these are terroristic threats. Hate threats against people who are just different than you. Really, they are just different. And you have to hate on them for that? I mean, really, who in the hell are you? You know, I don't understand it. I will never understand it. I will never understand how you people out there that are like this can do this to children. How can you hate on these children so much that you make death threats against children? I don't care what your religious views are. Our country is run by the Constitution of the United States of America, not your Bible. It is also not run by your hate. Those of you that are still out there attacking transgender people and gay people in the entire LGBT community, you are on the wrong side of history. Sooner or later, people are going to start ignoring everything you have to say. But until you stop with the hate, I will be here making sure everyone knows who the hell you are. If this channel ever blows up, I will make it my I will make it my duty every single time that I see a story like this to make sure your name is plastered across the internet. Right now I have 162 subscribers. You better hope I never have more. If you want to attack children or people simply because of their gender or their gender associate, you know, their gender association or their sexuality, I will be here to shut you down. Anyhow, this has been the Big Ranch Show. I've been your host, Jacob Keck. I'll see you down the road.